A few years back, I was working on a video about the history behind the Orlando Executive Airport. When looking into the airfield's Army Air Force days back in World War II, I came across this image with a notation that indicated it was the main entrance to the Army Air Base. As someone who worked at and flew out of the airport for 20 years in the 70s through 1990s, and being familiar with the airport layout and entrances, nothing in this photograph looked even vaguely familiar or similar to any present day entrance. Exactly where could this entrance have been? I needed to investigate further. This is the main airport entrance today here at Colonial Drive and Herndon Avenue. In fact, it's been the main entrance since the 1950s when the airport was Orlando's main airline terminal. And, at least in my mind, it's still the main entrance even today. However, to be fair, over the last 30 years, the west side of the airport has become very active. And some may believe that this is the main entrance. However, neither area looks remotely like the photograph. But there have been a lot of changes to the airport over the last 75 years. And maybe it simply is no longer recognizable. Or maybe no longer exists at all. I had to find out. So where should we start looking? Let's roll back the hands of the clock to the year 1940. The city of Orlando had just leased the airport to the U.S. Army as the country prepared to enter World War II. The Army poured millions of dollars into the airport and turned it into a military base. By the time the conflict was over in 1945, the original Orlando Municipal Airport was barely recognizable. The original runways had been lengthened and extended. Three new runways had been added. Extensive building campuses had been erected on the west and northeast areas of the airfield. Armed with this map of the facility, I started looking around for the likely places one might expect to find a guard shack and the main entrance. One of the likely areas was this building complex on the northeast corner of the airfield. Another was the north side of the airfield where the current day main entrance is. And here, on the west side of the airport, where another group of structures were built. Starting in this northeast area of the field, there are two entrances that provide access from Cheney Highway, which is the present-day Colonial Drive. Neither shows a guard shack or structures like those depicted in the photograph. Let's examine where the present-day main entrance is. Again, no guard shack or any structures that match up. That leaves the area on the west side of the airfield. A large rectangle, bordered by East Robinson Street, Primrose Drive, Fairgreen Street, and the airport border, which is the largest concentration of structures, and was the area the Army first developed as soon as they leased the land in 1940. Let's look around. There are what look like two access points along the north perimeter fence, but no guardhouse. Now, looking down here on the south perimeter, I think we have a winner. These buildings along this street are marked as headquarter buildings on a separate schedule I have. And the circular area at the end of the street is where the camp flagpole was. This little square represents the sentry post in the middle of the entrance, which conclusively indicates the main entrance to the airbase was here at the corner of present day Robinson and Festival Way. The question as to where the main entrance was is now solved. If you were driving east on Robinson, you would make a left turn into the base and pull up to the guard shack, which would have been in the middle of the entrance. Once cleared by the sentry, you would have continued left and drive down this street, where the white car is, which is present day Celebration Street, to where the camp headquarters were. This is the north side of Celebration Street. This particular area was where some of the camp headquarter buildings, they line basically parallel to this road behind me. In that direction was where the flagpole, camp flagpole was positioned. All long gone now, back in the 1940s and it's now 2018. This is the cul-de-sac at the end of Celebration Street where the camp flagpole was once positioned right in the middle. Much has changed over the last 70 years, 
What was once a busy army base is now Orlando's Festival Park. But if you look carefully, you can see traces of the long removed streets and building foundations, still faintly showing through subtle color variations of grass in the park. That was a fun investigation. Stay curious and remember, life is a journey. Enjoy the ride and thank you for watching.